Tracy Morgan. Oh, man. Welcome to the show, Cancer. Thank you for having me. It has been so long. I wanted to have you on for such a long time. Because I was scared you smart. <laughs> this is a smart show, man. <laughs> I had to go back and get my GED. Just come here. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I'm not really into politics. I voted one time in my life, and that was for Dave Dinkins. <laughs> we see how that turned out. Who the hell is Dave the Dinkins? The mayor of New York. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, well, I'm glad you came, Tracy. I'm glad you came. And before we go any further, I want to say congratulations. The last OG just got picked up for a second season. I love that show, man. What? I have so much fun doing it. You know what I love about The Last OG is that, like, it, it does what, what you your stand-up does. What you love about The Last OG? I'll tell you what I love. I love the fact that it does what your stand-up does. And I, I said this when I watched your special on Netflix, is that you have this weird ability to seem like you don't care about anything, but you got all the heart in the world, you know? And this show is not... Because you, 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 you play a character who's just come out of prison, and he's trying to restart his life. He moves back into Brooklyn. He realizes his whole world has changed around yeah. him. And he struggles to get back into the world. Was, was, was the Brooklyn story close to you because you're from there? Yes, man. We, these are real people. I really know these people, man. You know, that's the thing that I love about the show now. It's funny, but it's grounded. Right. And it's kind. It's a kind show. Stick with it. It's really kind. The funny's organic. When you got people like Tiffany Addis and Cedric and Alan Maldonado. Right. You, and me is going to get wild and woolly. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Buckle up, kids. It's going to get wild and woolly out there. Can I ask you something? What, like, what was Would the... you ask me? You the district attorney? <laughs> I cannot recall. <laughs> I watch Law and Order. <laughs> he asked me no questions. Ain't nobody said nothing when they booked me for the show. He gonna ask you questions. No. <sighs> what's, what's, what's the one thing you miss about You know you funny. You know you're funny when you get the pretty girl in the front row to fart when she laughs. <laughs> ha, 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 you, you know, Tracy, I'm, I'm trying to conduct myself professionally here. I'm trying to do, like, a professional interview with you. You I'm, know these dudes? Like, I'm, I've got a whole thing planned, and I was like, I'm gonna be professional Who'd with you. Who'd you have planned? I, like, I had these questions, and I was gonna talk about how, like, how, how amazing the show is and how it talks about, like, the life of a person who's been incarcerated yeah. and how they struggle to get a job and, and, and how, you know, you hu humanize their experience and... and, and yeah, we're not just talking about that, though. It's family orientated because, right. you know, Shay, the character is played by Tiffany Addish, allows... I mean, she had twins. Right. I was going for 15 years, and I come home, and I got twins, and I didn't even know it. Right. So people love it because it's a real grounded story, and that's what I dig about it. You know, the funny is one thing. We get your attention with the funny, but we keep your attention with the story, and that's dope. It's also a story about starting over again, and Tracy Morgan... The last many... OG! Yeah. You know who the greatest OG of all time was? Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> he told Luke to go to the Dekema system. I wouldn't have chosen Obi-Wan. You wouldn't have chosen Obi? No, I wouldn't have said you Wow. Obi-Wan <laughs> Obi Kenobi. I just don't like this new Star Wars. Cause the black dude look like like Radio Raheem. <laughs> and everybody knows Chewbacca is behind in his child support payments. How many how many takes do you guys take to make like one one scene on one the show? One scene? Do, do you guys just laugh all the way through? No. Because if it's you and Tiffany and Cedric, no. And, no. No, it ain't that much. It's laughter, but we stay in the moment. You ain't no funny about selling crack. So you got people on the set crying, and or you got to stay with the episode. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's Watch beautiful. how it turn out. That's beautiful, Tracy. Yeah, that's what I, well, that was the show I wanted to do. A show where you can cry. Not just cry. Well, you I, said cry. Now you make it seem like I said cry. I'm an expert in crying because that's how I got some from girls when I was younger. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> you want to see my bottom lip start shaking? Look. <laughs> Did they give me some? 
serious. Let, let me ask you this. For, for a story that is about starting over again, for many people, your story in real life was inspiring mm -hmm. because we all rooted for you. Everyone was like, we can't not have Tracy Morgan in our lives. You bring joy you. to people's lives. You. you make us laugh. Comedians all rally the around love you. Love you, Trevor. When you... When you look at your character, when you look at your character in this show, is there, is there a part of you in that story yeah. of starting all over again? If Tracy Morgan got a second chance at life, why can't Trey Barker, who's my character? Right. So I just, with this, I just want to make a real connection with the audience, with the people of the world. You know, we can all, we all deserve a second chance. Right. So I, I believe in that. <laughs> we all make mistakes. But... We have to really be careful of condemnation. Right. We have to learn the language of love. Mm -hmm. And condemnation will hurt us. You can't condemn anyone. You can't condemn a race of people. It's just what the thing that separates the people of the planet isn't, isn't culture, isn't, isn't any color, nothing, nationality. It's just pride. It's foolish pride. I know, swallow it. If you got pride, it's all about love, man. Yo, listen. In my world, Angelo Dundee was Muhammad Ali's manager for a long time. And you know he told Muhammad Ali one day? It don't cost nothing to be nice. Don't cost us nothing. We in here right now laughing and having a good time. But as soon as we leave out of here, we want to go back to that prideful stuff. Right. I'm better than you. That got to end. That got to stop. I we for a whole week, a month and a half ago when them kids died in that school. I cried all day. That could have been my kids. That could have been my kid. So I'll take this moment. I'm not afraid to move away from comedy here on your show. This is where I wanted to say this. Thank you for having me on here. And you know I love you, Trev. I know that, Trey. You know I love you, man. Thank you so much for being here, my dude. <laughs> the Alpha, the last OG. As Tuesdays, 10.30 p.m. on TV. Tracy Morgan, everybody.